Hey, welcome to my channel for this new brand video. My name is Mahmoud and I'm from Chat. Chat is here in the warm up for those who don't know. So I'm a computer engineering student in Turkey and I have uh, stayed in Turkey for five years. So the, today's video is uh, about five things that I like about that I like most about Turkey. So let's get it started. Number one is hospitality. Turkish people are the most welcoming person that I have ever seen. When you go to somewhere house, you will re you will notice that they will treat you especially with uh, some energy. That's so far. Let's just say you went to some store and you will notice that the seller will treat you with some energy, with some uh, warm and uh, make you special so especially if you are a uh, foreign sometimes if you are lucky they will serve you even some tea they will try to socialize and so on or whenever you ask for a direction in the street you will help get some help to find your way even though the people around you don't know your language they will try to help you find your way they are so friendly and helpful there is that quote that say komşu at yatan bizden which means word by word that uh, the one that has his neighbor hungry is not one of us so that also proves that uh, being friendly and helpful is a part of the pe Turkish people culture so hospitality might be a reason for the many reasons that makes Turkey one of the most visited country in the world if you have ever came to Istanbul, you have certainly noticed that there is so many cats in the street, around hundreds of thousands. In Istanbul, that the citizens provide them food, shelter and water, and there is also so many gardens and parks that people left them water, food. While making this video, I researched it a little bit and asked some friend, and I found that it is not only on Turkey. It is common in Muslim country of honoring cats because in Islam cats is considered like a very clean animal. While going through the book History of Islam, many mention the Prophet love of feeling and while variations of foregoing history exist, the overarching affection for cats has been consistent. So it is started with a religion and then turned into a culture. Turkish people are so proud to be Turkish and they are so enthusiastic when it comes to sharing their history and culture with visitors. No matter where you go, people will be more than willing to tell you stories about the history of their native cities or towns while showing you the sites. Another great example to see the Turkish pride toward the nation is the night of 15 July 2016. We remember all the night of 15 July 2016, that epic night where Turkish people went out into the street, stand, stand up and fought for their nation. The food has always been a great part of Turkish people's culture. There is that stereotype that links Turkey with kebab, but indeed there is a lot of variety of food in Turkey that you cannot never imagine. You have maybe heard of the Turkish breakfast, which is something like this. I can take off the Turkish breakfast, which is a lot full table with plenty of different meal and with always the tea, olive, bread near it. The Turkish cuisine is largely the heritage of Ottoman cuisine. It varies across the country. The cooking of Istanbul, Izmir, Bursa and the rest of the Asian region inherits many elements of Ottoman court cuisine with a lighter use of spicy and a preference for rice over bulgur and a wider use of seafood. The region of the Black Sea where currently I am uses extensively fish. Meanwhile, the region of South East Urfa, Gaziantep, and Adana is famous for its kebab, mezes, and dur based desserts such as baklava, kadaif, and künefe. And let's not forget that the most famous chef in the world are Turkish. I bet it directly comes to your mind Salt Bay slash Nusret or Jezene Burak. They have their place all over the world. Every single celebrity has visited, they have, has visited them a national pride. They are a national pride for Turkish people. They have insane amount of followers on social media. 
And you, what do you think about Turkish food and which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. The first thing that comes to my mind when we talk about Turkish football is the extraordinary atmosphere. I think that beyond the passion, which is huge, there is the idea that we go to the stadium to be an actor more than a simple spectator. It shows on, anim on the animation the whole tribute sings, not just the corners. And certainly the rendering is incredible at the vision level as well. And there is the derby of Istanbul. How can I forget this? In Istanbul, there is two religion, Islam and football. So uh, I just picked my phone to not miss some details about the derby. In Turkey, there is that three main club which literally won every title. In the history of the Super League, here are the three clubs that stand out. Galatasaray, Fenerbahce, and Besiktas. Since the creation of the Super League in 1959, this trio has shared 55 of these 62 titles. Only Trabzonspor has won six times the Super League title and Bursaspor once in 2010. And these three clubs belong to the same city of Istanbul. Fenerbahce is, separ is separated from its two cousins by the Bosphorus, the river. Galatasaray and Besiktas are closer, so of course that leads to rivalries. In Istanbul, this kind of derbies are not like the others. The whole city is melting and you can feel that this country breathes football. And you, what do you think about Turkish football and which, one, which club is your favorite? Let me know in the comment below. And this is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and share, please. And see you next time. Ciao, ciao.